Hi you guys, welcome back to Maple Ranch. My name is Katie. Today we're in the kitchen and I'm gonna share with you how to make my favorite cookie, coconut macaroons. It's so simple, it's easy, so stick around and let me show you how we do it. coconut macarons. So if you're anything like me, you've got chickens, you've got extra eggs, you got to figure out a way to use them. So I figured out this recipe when I was trying to use up some extra eggs and it works great. So this recipe is so simple and it's really easy to do. It's probably something that you already have all the ingredients in your kitchen and you can just whip up in about 15-20 minutes. So let me share with you the ingredients. Sugar, some coconut, a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt, a couple of room temperature eggs, you're just going to use egg whites and then vanilla. Speaking of vanilla, if I'm going to use this imitation vanilla because it's what I have available. I'm in the process of making some homemade vanilla. So if you haven't done that before and you want to see how I did it, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below and I'll show you exactly how I did it. Hopefully a month or two from now, we'll have some vanilla all ready to go and we'll be able to use that. But for now, I'm going to use what I have on hand. So this video is a collaboration with Ashley at CNC Farm. And this is called 12 Days of Cookies 22. If you want to put the hashtag in 12 Days of Cookies 22, then you can see all the channels that are participating in this collaboration. So let's get started. And the first thing I did is I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. So we'll get that going. I'm going to crack these eggs and I'm going to try to separate the egg whites from the egg yolk. There's probably more effective ways to do this. I'm just going to do my best. And I'm going to save the egg yolk for a different recipe. I'm trying not to crack the yolk and just get the whites. The key to this is you don't want to get any of the yolk into this egg white. So let's throw this in the KitchenAid. White, and we're gonna throw it in our KitchenAid bowl here. Just put the egg whites in and we'll get this started. So I set the speed on the KitchenAid to eight and I start that mixing. It gets nice and foamy after maybe just a minute or so. Then I add my third cup of sugar. I'm gonna add my teaspoon of vanilla, about a quarter teaspoon of salt, and just let this keep mixing until it changes. It'll get nice and sticky, kind of fluffy, and it's good to go. We'll go ahead and turn this off. I'm gonna add two cups of coconut. So we got our measuring cup out. We'll get our coconuts. And we'll add it in here and we'll just mix that together. Okay, so I grabbed a cookie sheet and I put a piece of parchment paper over it. I like to do it. I think it makes the cookies bake evenly and the cleanup is simple. We've got our coconut in with our mixture. So I'm just gonna stir this together. Let me bring you in and show you what this looks like. So if you have a little cookie scoop, you can use that. I just use two spoons and kind of put a dollop on. And this will make 12 to 16, just depending on the size that you want to do. And you just make the size you want and you just use the second spoon to take it off if it doesn't easily fall off. Simple. So let me get this loaded up and we'll get it in the oven. Okay, so 15 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, you guys, and there we have it. 15 minutes in the oven until they're golden brown. They came out perfect. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. If you try these, leave me a comment and let me know how you like them. They're super simple and easy to make, but we love to have them. Now, if you wanted to make them a little fancier and more traditional, you can add chocolate to them. I didn't do that. We like them simple, just like this. What I do is I'll just take the parchment paper itself, just take it off the pan, let it cool this way on the counter, and in a few minutes, they'll be good to try. If you have a cooling rack, you can absolutely put these cookies on a cooling rack. I find that just pulling the parchment paper right off the cookie tray and leaving it on the counter works great. Wanna try it, babe? Yeah, I'll try it. Mmm. Not a good idea. Really good. I'm going to eat all these up. Thanks, 
Ashley, for the collab, you got Kay to make me some homemade cookies. Maybe next time you can do some French bread. That's my favorite. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Thanks, you guys. Check out all the videos on this place. Live your life within the moment.